My Notion templates have been downloaded more than 25,000 times. They helped me through university, quit my career as a lawyer, and land my actual dream job. Here are the seven best Notion templates to get started, plus what you can learn from them to build your own perfect Notion setup. Ever since Atomic Habits, we all know just how important habits are. And tracking your habits is a great way to ensure that you stick to your good ones and don't fall prey to your bad ones. So here's a smart habit tracker in Notion that will help you get 1% better every day. It's a simple but powerful setup and it utilizes a lot of Notion's recent feature releases. Most importantly, Notion buttons. So as you can see, you have here in this case five habits, but you can of course personalize them and change them out to whatever you would want to track. And then you can simply hit any of the icons and it will automatically check off the entry for the day. So let's say I had done water and I work towards my goal and I get the two entries here. What's more, this template also automatically adds an entry for you every day. So even if you forget to log into your Notion, it will still keep adding things and then you can either go back in retrospect and add the habits that you had there or, well, you have to realize that you missed a few days in a row. Last but certainly not least, look at these really, really cool analytics for your Notion habit tracker. As you can see, it automatically updated. I did water once a day and uh, once per week. And if I check the second one, it updates to two. I also have my goal and my individual targets for the week. And then I get my overall performance. That was the first of seven templates. Just a quick heads up before we move on, you can download all of these templates for free with the link in the description. And now let's look at number two. Do you ever get this ominous feeling in the back of your head that there's just too much to do, but you can't right put your finger on what exactly it is you're supposed to be working at? You need a task manager. It won't magically reduce your workload, but it will help create visibility and your brain does no longer have to keep track of everything you have to do, which means you can focus your energy on actually getting things done. So this is the main dashboard for your task manager and there's a ton of features to offer. First off, a GTD inspired task manager right in the center. Now here behind these toggles, you have a lot of linked database views into the main task database and we'll show you different sets of your tasks so that you can easily work with that. For example, your inbox will show you the tasks that you still need to process, right? So the ones that haven't been assigned to a project yet or the today view will show you everything that you need to do today separated into the different energy levels. On the left, you see a list of your projects. So I can easily open them up and on here, then see another dashboard that shows me just the tasks for this project, the notes for this one, or any links that I wanted to add. What's more, the task manager comes with your own personal assistant who will give you an accurate report of how your performance is going. So at all times, you can see how many tasks you have to do today, how many tasks are overdue, your upcoming deadlines, your open tasks, your active projects, so now you have a place for all your tasks. But what about your thoughts and ideas? When it comes to organizing your knowledge, fast and easy, a simple Zettel Custom is the way to go. Here's how the Zettel Custom dashboard looks like when you open it up. And as you can see, you have a quick capture area for your new notes. You can also jump into the databases and for example, look at your Zettel Custom in more details. And then you have an inbox uh, to see which notes you need to process, right? So if you have a fleeting note, that means it's in the very beginning stage, which you still need to look at it. You still need to connect it to other things. And then once it is, a permanent note or a connector note, you can just drag it over there and it will disappear from your list. What's also cool about this template is that it will automatically resurface notes. You've probably run into this issue before. You take a lot of notes and things and then they just get buried at some point. Settle Custom is actually two ways to avoid it. One, through many connections inside the note. So you jump from one note to another. Plus in this template, a randomizer function. So in Notion, we have a hard time creating random numbers, but it is possible. And if you manage to do so, you can then use it to sort, which means every time I reload this page, I will see a different subset of items here. Last but not least, we have also central notes at the very bottom, and we're using a formula to automatically count uh, the amount of connections and then sort by that. Don't worry if you've never written a formula before. It's actually super simple. I have also like a complete tutorial on that in the description. Let's actually have a quick look at that formula, which is, by the way, a great way to use templates, right? If you download a Notion template, make sure to dive into the properties and actually have a look at how everything is set up so that you can use that knowledge to then build your own one. So in properties, we can go down here and we can look at the total score and at the formula. And as you can see, what it does is it takes the score of the connections and the score of the mentions and adds them. So then the next thing you would need to do if you look at a template like that, you would need to go to next property to figure out, okay, how is that one built? So let's look at score connections and you can see this is a rollup. So this rollup checks the mentioned ones and then just counts them all. As you can see by going now deeper into the back end of the system, you can figure out, okay, this is how this feature was built and this is how I can use it in my own workspace. Equipped with these three templates, your Notion workspace 
already has a great foundation and you covered the most essential functionalities. A template for organizing your knowledge, a template to get 1% better every day, and a template that will help you get stuff done. Now, let's look at four more specialized and slightly more niche templates. If you're looking for a way to easily keep track of your favorite recipes, plan ahead the meals for the week, and know always which adjustments you made to get the perfect flavor combination, then this one is for you. This one has to be one of my favorite Notion templates of all time, simply because it looks just so pretty with all the food. The cool thing and main feature of this dashboard is this Kanban in the middle. And what it does, it's just a board view in Notion, but instead of having like selects or stages, I used the different days of the week uh, for the categories and then laid them out in order. And now I can simply drag and drop my dishes between uh, these uh, categories to assign them to a specific day of the week. And I can of course also just take a new recipe, right? So I can open all my recipe options and say, well, actually I would like to do the butterfly chicken uh, on this day. And then I can close it back up. So that's the first really cool feature here. The next thing is again, a randomizer function. So my new recipes to try, this one shows me the, um, the recipes that I haven't tested yet, so the ones that don't have a rating, but in feeling lucky, I see a random list of recipes. So we looked at the, uh, the random number already before, so let's dive in here quickly. We can go on to the properties and then uh, we can look at the discovery function. And this one is a fairly complicated formula, as you can see, but don't worry, I've linked in the description a tutorial to my complete randomizer uh, numbers for Notion tutorial. And there you also see a few more use cases of how you can use them in your templates. One last thing I want to show you here, and that is the template that you get uh, on each of these pages. So if I open something up, I see here my ingredients, the steps, the notes and the change log. And I don't have to do this every time from scratch. Instead, I've created inside the database uh, a variety, a variety of uh, different templates. So I can just load them in whenever there's a new recipe that I want to remember. So again, templates inside your Notion template are a great way to help you enter information more quickly. One thing I really regret about Notion, only finding it during my last year of university. Notion is such a great tool to help you organize all the information around classes, assignments, and notes. Yes, the Notion template I wish that I had when I started out university. Best of all, it will even help you revise for your exams with evidence-based study techniques. So here's the student hub in Notion. What can we learn from it for our own workspace? First, one thing I really like to do on main dashboards is to use columns to uh, actually add navigation, right? So as you can see, this is a three split column layout. And on the very left, you have your different courses. So I can just uh, jump quickly into any of my active courses. I can look at them and on them, I have again, a dashboard writer shows me all my assignments and exams, all my notes and all my revisions that are linked to this specific course. In the center, I have the actual main part of the information. So I can quickly at a glance, see all my upcoming assignments for the week. I could see my calendar, quick notes, and I could see which things I have to revise currently. And then on the right, I have again, another separate column with more navigation information. So at the very top, I see a progress bar for my current uh, semester. I have quick links and resources to jump to specific things that I use quite often. So for example, if I click on the retrospective revision timetable, I can immediately see all the information that I need to revise. And this is also the part with the evidence backed study method, right? Uh, revising things on a schedule and like always revising the things that you performed the worst on is a great way to increase retention and make sure that you practice active learning instead of just the passive consumption of knowledge. And on here, what you can do is you can just add your sessions and then you can use rollups and relations to record which topic you actually practiced. And then down here, you see your different topics and they automatically roll up whenever they've been mentioned up here. And that way you can easily see a uh, what level do you currently rate yourself on, on the different uh, topics and how often and when did you last practice them so that whenever you don't have time to practice a new topic, you can make sure that you practice the one that will give you the most bang for your buck. Oh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Plus, let me know down below in the comments which template I should be building next. By now, you probably realize that Notion is pretty good at helping you keep track of things. So far, we had notes, tasks and study things plus meals. What's missing? Workouts. Unlike some of the other templates that we've seen so far, this one has pretty much all the content on the very first page. You can easily add a new workout session, you can record new moves, and you have in the bottom, of course, 
analytics again that show you exactly how well you've performed, like how much you uh, reduced or increased your weight, uh, how many calories you burned, your training hours, and so on. And the way it works in backend is that you have a range of databases. So you have your exercises and your routines, and then you connect them all through relations, which means that when you're then ready to have uh, a workout, right? So if I say, okay, I want to do a new workout, I can open it up and then I can start connecting my different routines. So I can say, okay, for this workout, I did my not very good sample exercise and I did some running and that will automatically load in the estimated time and I can then modify it if I want to change something and I can add the calories. But the main information is stored one level down, right? So I can look at my not very good sample exercise and here I can see, well, this routine consists of two other exercises. And based on that, I assume that it takes a certain time and I can then also see how often I actually did it. Last but certainly not least, finally, a solution to help you write things more easily. No more drowning in literature or staring at a blank page wondering where to start. It's a simple system to turn all of your research into actual results. So at this point, you can probably spot a few recurring themes of building blocks that you can use to make your own workspace better. Like example, in this one, again, we have our multi-column layout on the front dashboard just to structure things a bit better and enable navigation. We have also like for the first time uh, this navigation bar at the very top to let us quickly jump into the individual areas. One thing that we haven't seen so far and that is super cool in this template is the use of something called global tags. Now in this academic writing template, you have various types of things. You have your writings, right? The things that you've already written before. You have your reading list, like all the resources that you've taken and you have notes. Now, when you start a new writing project, ideally you would be able to see everything that belongs to this. But the problem is that all of that information lives in separate databases. So how can you quickly and most importantly, automatically pull everything together? Well, the answer is global tags. Let me show you how. So if I want to add a new writing, so I say, um, I want to write a new um, article and I open up the template. And now at the first glance, you already can see that I have again, a dashboard nested inside that would show me related writings, my similar writings, my meeting notes, brainstorm notes, readings, and so on and so on. But none of that is populated yet. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to add a topic. So I can go in here and I can say, well, the topic that this article is about will be da, 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 effective learning. And this now automatically, as you can see, pulls in everything else in this workspace that has been tagged with effective learning. And now in my dashboard below, I have things here. This one always takes a second to load, but you can see the uh, connections already up here. So how do global tags work? Well. Very easy, global tags live in their own database, in that case, the topics database, and they are linked to every other database in your system. And then when you start building the dashboards, you can build it in a way that pulls in all that related information based on whether they share the same global tag. And it gets even better because they live in their own database. You can just click on your topic and open it up. And in there you have another dashboard that links out to everything in your workspace that has ever mentioned the topic effective learning, right? So I can, again, see here all my meetings, my brainstorms, my writings and readings that ever mentioned this topic. Now, one of my favorite recent Notion updates is the one about Notion buttons. Using this feature well will instantly upgrade your Notion workspace to the next level. Make sure to check out my full guide on how to use Notion buttons, including 13 awesome use cases. See you in the next one.